we're about ready to go on an adventure and we're gonna find an adventure lab and what better way to do it than on a sailboat this is incredible it's the only way to get this adventure lab on rattlesnake island are you ready to climb aboard let's go <laughs> Okanagan Lake is situated in the interior of southern British Columbia, Canada, about 400 kilometers from the city of Vancouver. It is approximately 102 kilometers long, 3.5 kilometers wide, and is 235 meters at its deepest point. There are three islands in the lake and the most notable is Rattlesnake Island. It is a small, rocky, uninhabited island located directly east of Peachland, BC. It is an enjoyable destination for boaters of all kinds, many hoping to spot the elusive Ogopogo. And that little boat is going to take us ashore, either that or we're going to swim. Ogopogo is to Okanagan Lake what Nessie is to Loch Ness, a large prehistoric type creature. Local legend, which has evolved over hundreds of years, suggests that Ogopogo's lair as being in a deep cave beneath Rattlesnake Island or nearby point. Do we have to? What? 53. 53. 54. Shut her down, Sue. Shut her down. We've made landfall. <coughs> further. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't want to get our toesies wet <laughs> or anything else. <laughs> I might have to if I, if I lean back anymore, I'm going for a swim. Coming ashore. Boom. We're on. We are on Rattlesnake Island one of the very few islands in Okanagan Lake. Yeah, a rope might be handy. Rattlesnake Island may now be part of Okanagan Park, but it was once privately owned. Back in the 1970s, it was purchased by Eddie Hamor, a Lebanese immigrant. He wanted to turn the island into an Arab-themed tourist attraction. The island would be serviced by a ferry and would include a giant pyramid, restaurant, mini golf, and a giant camel serving ice cream and more. The townspeople of Peachland were not fans of the development and got support from the provincial government of BC. The government forced Haymore's bank loan to be withdrawn putting him in financial ruin. His wife and children also left him. They offered to buy the island for $40,000, which was less than a quarter of what Haymor had spent on his project to date. Haymor was forced to sign over the island to the BC government. Haymor, frustrated with the unfair treatment from the BC government, returned to Lebanon. With the help of his family, he seized the Canadian Embassy in Beirut. 34 hostages and a nine-hour standoff later, the BC government agreed to discuss the case with him. Hamor was not prosecuted for his actions in Beirut. Hamor was eventually awarded $250,000 in compensation for the cruel action taken by the provincial government against him. The island, however, was not returned to him. 
we have two stages done to the adventure lab and one of the stages was about mini golf which we just saw that's kind of cool Uh, so underneath the uh, arch. Yeah, okay. let's see what the hint says. Yeah, there you go. So it is there. Yeah. All right. See it from here. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. Oh, there it is. There you go. That's Anybody great. bring a pen? I got a pen. Yay. That's handy. I'm going to sign in again just because. Why not? <laughs> Somebody's going to think it's trash. Yeah. Well, I don't think they get that many visitors, so they'll look under there. Well, we got all the answers we needed for the adventure lab and we found the geocache that was here. So that was a great adventure. And like we said, you have the only other way to here is either uh, you rent a helicopter uh, and fly over or you take a boat. And uh, the safest way to do that is on a sailboat or a powerboat. Uh, we had contemplated doing so with a, uh, a kayak and a paddleboard, but uh, this lake can get quite rough. So uh, you want to make sure, always play safe when you go geocaching. But make sure you get a geocache. And remember, a DNF is not a bad thing. Goes in, it goes in here, and it comes out over here. And if you're lucky, you got enough zoom in it, it comes right up and over to the hole, right there. <laughs> well, that was an awesome adventure. Oh, it's fantastic being out on the waves. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank our host, uh, Bill and Sue, for taking us out. And uh, it's Witch and Lion. Yes. Witch and Lion. Witch and Lion, Joe Cashers. And our good friends, Tony and Pam, Tycoon Auto. A big cashier in, in Canada. Wherever he goes, he gets the big numbers. It's awesome. He <laughs> loves adventure, right? Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Thank you again for taking us out. It's awesome. Thank cool. You. Thank you. Thank you. And then you do your yep. thing. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you? I found the latrine. <laughs> yeah, I found the latrine. <laughs>